welcome back to sister sister today in this video i'm going to be doing a declutter i have a ton of foundations that i want to go through see if i like them see if i don't i also have an amazing announcement my husband and i were going to be buying our first home together so right now what we're doing is we're going house hunting to find our forever home i have to declutter some stuff i have to declutter a lot of stuff I do not want to take a bunch of this old baggage with me. So I have a ton of lipsticks, I have a ton of foundations, I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes that I really don't wear. I just think I just need to get rid of them. So I was thinking of doing a declutter series. How can I make this fun and helpful for me? I have 32 foundations that I need to go through. So what I thought I'd do is declutter for 16 days a declutter and application process for 16 days so each day i'm gonna have two foundations and battle it out or two i think the last day i only have one and see which one i'm going to keep either i'm going to keep one i'm going to keep both or i'm going to get rid of both i want to do an application wear it throughout the day I feel like this will help me with figuring out which foundations just doesn't work well with my skin. I have a ton of stuff going on here. I'm having some hormonal breakouts, so I have a ton of stuff to cover. So I want to see, you know, which foundations I like and which foundations work for me and take them with me and the other ones leave behind. If you would like to see which foundations I keep and get rid of, then just keep watching. Okay, let's start off this 16 days of foundation declutter. So the first foundation I have is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. It's in the shade Chestnut and the shade Cocoa. Although this doesn't look like Cocoa, it is. I used to use these together. I have not used this in like forever. I don't know why. From what I remember, I like them. But it's been a while. I also have the sample size of the It Cosmetics Your Skin Will Better CC Cream. This is in the shade D. I think I tried this like once. I don't, I, from what I remember, this broke me out. But I think the sunscreen in this or the fragrances, something in this broke me out. So I'm going to try it again. My face is already broke out. Doesn't really even matter. But I would like to know if this breaks me out or if this is a good foundation or if it was something else that broke me out that I put on my face that day. So this is going to be good for me because I get to go through all these foundations and figure out what breaks me out. If it was something that I was doing within my routine that was breaking me out or if it was actual foundation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to on one face apply the Neutrogena and then on one, one part of my face apply the It Cosmetics. I've only moisturized my face. I'm going to add my mattifying primer because I, I have to have a mattifying primer because my skin is very oily so I'm going to add that to my T-zone but the other parts of my face stays pretty much normal. And so on each side of my face I'm going to use beauty sponge first, and then I'm going to use a brush. I think I'm going to leave the foundations on my face for at least eight hours. So right now it is 11.58, so we're going to call the time 12 o'clock. I think I might come back at 4 o'clock just to do a check-in, right? That's all. I'm going to come back at 8 o'clock and let you know how everything wore. So let's start with the Hydro Boost. So I'm going to use two different brushes and two different beauty sponges. I forgot, this has that like cooling effect to it. It feels really nice on my skin. While I am doing these foundations, I am also trying out some eyeshadow palettes. And so I'll do my eyeshadow palette declutter after I do I do the foundation one. So we'll see how it wears. And the eyeshadow palette that I am wearing is this Miskos. They don't have names. 
all of their palettes have the same name just v skulls charming moist eyeshadow palette so that is what i am wearing today i did a little something just to test out the palette because i've never worn it i buy eyeshadow palettes and then i put them away and i forget about them i need to stop doing that that went on smoothly it doesn't cover anything it's a very sheer coverage but it's a skin tint so that's why i want to do these together i'm trying to match up the foundations so if i have matte foundations i'll do two matte foundations together if i have a bb cream or a cc cream i'll do those two together it smells like oranges so if i have a couple foundations that are illuminating i'll put those together both of these foundations are very luminous and glowy, oily looking foundations. So they both have the same coverage, which is light coverage, very light coverage. You can really see everything. I'll just use this e.l.f. Um, Prime and Stay here. Yeah. Prime and the e.l.f. Prime and Stay finishing powder. And I'll just roll this all over my face. Everything is applied. It's just six minutes after 12. That's not bad. So we'll just call the check-in time right now, 12 o'clock. So I just want to show you this is what my face looks like. Of course, they don't match, but is what it is I will see you guys at four o'clock okay so this is my face after four hours of wear okay so we know that both of them are very very light coverage so you can see everything but they pretty much look the same as they did so okay here's some light so they both pretty much just still look the same as they did before nothing has changed you can still see all of my blemishes which um i already knew was gonna happen does my face look any oilier my face doesn't look any oilier than it did earlier when i had first applied everything I don't know. I mean, nothing's changed. You can still see that it's on my skin. I don't see anything that has rubbed off. It all still looks the same. So far, it's just living up to it being a skin tint. The CC cream, I if you have any blemishes or anything, I have a hard time believing that you can get a full coverage out of that. I just do. So I will be back at 8 o'clock to let you know if um, I'm going to keep either one of these. So it is 8.08. Um, so it's been 8 hours. So off of first observation. So since the 4 hour check in, I have noticed something. This side has Hydra Boost, right? I have some little bitty bumps going on in this area tiny bumps just multiple tiny bumps that was not there when i first put on and maybe that's why i have not worn a hydro boost so just with that along even though it's oily and i'm not really a fan of how it looks sitting on my face right now I'm leaving this. So now the CC cream. I don't see anything new on this side of my face from the CC cream. So that's good. I thought that this broke me out. So maybe it was something else that I had put on that day when I tried this out that broke me out. Now I can see why I don't wear this as well. And I never purchased the full size. They don't cover anything. It's very oily by the end of the day. The colors are off. My face just looks very textured. I don't like either one of them. I'm leaving them both.
So tomorrow shouldn't be that bad. I mean, I don't have a surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. My foundations are not a complete match for my skin tone. I actually like the foundations that I have tomorrow. So stick around for that video. If you like this video, if you like the idea of this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe to our channel. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.